pandemic changed almost every aspect of our lives, and that includes our physical fitness. Early studies show last year people exercised less and had unhealthy diets with an increase in obesity and stress. And now that things are getting a little closer to normal, a lot of groups are encouraging people to get more active again. And on that note, the yearly American Fitness Index is out. Yeah, the American College of Sports Medicine puts together this report every summer. It's reputable, as we said before. <laughs> uh, they rank the 100 largest cities in America in terms of individual and community fitness. And it turns out Buffalo is getting better and better. Go us. <laughs> First, the top five. Arlington, Virginia, again taking the top spot here, followed by Minneapolis, Seattle, Denver, and Madison, Wisconsin. So last year, Buffalo ranked 25th best in the country. Not bad, but for 2021, quite a jump. Look at this. The Queen City is now 16th best in the country. Now we score much better in terms of community rankings than personal health because we have higher than average rates of smoking, obesity, asthma, high blood pressure and diabetes. So we asked Michelle Carberry, a senior corporate wellness specialist with independent health to look through this report for us and tell us why Buffalo is improving on this important list. I think we're known for our chicken wings and our really good food and things like that. So we don't always associate it with us with um, being super fit, but we also have um, a huge community of people who are out there walking and running and engaging in um, biking events and swimming events and things like that. We also have, um, I think there's been a big uptick um, in people using our parks. Um, and we just have tons of parks in the area where people can go and take advantage of um, getting out in nature. Um, and I think people have really connected with that, especially I think um, through COVID, um, especially when we the gyms were closed and things like that. So people love getting outside and um, you know getting physically fit. Michelle also noted that we are a little worse than average in terms of getting enough sleep, which she said is crucial to overall health. Getting up and moving every day to physically get your body um, tired so that when you do hit the pillow, you fall into a nice sound sleep. Um, and also, um, exercise and physical activity, um, it's a great way to reduce our stress. So if you're going to bed stressed out or anxious, um, think about what you did through the day. Were you very sedentary? Were you online a lot, which I know a lot of us are. Um, if you're not taking time to get up and get away from the screen and get up and get moving, um, you're gonna have a harder time falling asleep. And, and sleep is so important to our mental, emotional, and physical health. <sighs> Oh, I was on my phone. What did she say? <laughs> I'm getting healthy. Shh. Don't you wish you could get enough sleep? Although by this, it was seven hours was the standard. I'm good at seven hours. I don't always get eight. Yeah, well, I could take naps during the show. I didn't even think about that. Commercial breaks only.